husband was, had just been elected to Congress when he thought, are we crazy? Why are we fighting a world war within two generations of the first? This is self-destructive. He began to realize it was because we did not know one another. And so he set up programs whereby people can sit in classrooms and discuss meaningful ideas. That was the reason that the Fulbright program was started, to get people to know one another. And I think he was absolutely right. How important do you think are the core ideas of Fulbright, which is mutual understanding and global engagement in today's scenario? I very much believe that the uh, focus on enhancing international understanding is really the, the most important prerequisite for any, any cooperation that we are interested in developing. Fulbright programs which take Americans abroad and educate them about the world and which bring people from all over the planet to our country and introduce them to our form of government, democracy, economy. It's hard to think of a better way to use the tax dollars than we do with the Fulbright program. And I honestly cannot think of monies better spent than allowing worthy individuals to have that cultural exchange at a, high, a highest level of intelligence and knowledge and intellectual and personal ambition. People who are Fulbrighters are, are cross fertilizers. They're bringing ideas from one place to the other. But then there is a whole host of, uh, of value that is maybe, maybe hard to, to capture, but is, is the most important part of the program which is then planting seeds of understanding both in the United States and uh, in countries around the world. Fulbright has always been, I think, the flagship of U.S. public diplomacy because it has a very high profile internationally. So keeping it strong means that we're going we're gonna to be betting on the future of public diplomacy and support for that in the United States. Those relationships, those friendships, the depth of understanding, uh, are, are really some, sort of the, uh, the, the grease that keeps the wheels of international relations moving. Very important. It took a few stats on the day. We are meeting with 46 congressional officers today. We already have 100 letters into Congress in the last two days from our alumni. Our goal is 1,000 for the month. So our campaign is starting off strong. Very, very important that we're up here for the first time formally, I believe, advocating for the Fulbright program. It's something we're going to have to do so uh, in the future. One of the things that I think probably the Fulbright taught me as much as anything else, that for a diplomat in public diplomacy, listening is twice as important as talking. You learn a lot, you get a lot out of it, and it's very important. One Fulbrighter, one Fulbrighter is a fraction of the cost of one soldier. And if we can avoid international conflict through international diplomacy, America and the world will be a much better place. Uh, we just finished our, uh, our Fulbright Advocacy Day on the Capitol Hill. And the next opportunity is we need every Fulbrighter to write a letter to their member of Congress, their congressman and their senator, to advocate for funding and support of the Fulbright program. It's important that you do this now because the decisions are going to be made, made very, very soon. We'd appreciate that, and your support of the Fulbright program will ensure its continued success over the next generation.